Um, okay. Well, that takes us kind of to one of my favorite parts of, of this show is peering into your brain and, and trying to understand how you think. And I like to do that with a lightning round of reading some of my favorite quotes and then having you respond, telling us what it means to you. Okay. You ready? Yes, sir. 30 to 45 seconds on, on each answer if you, can, if you can do that. So this is from Adyashante. He says, a total acceptance of yourself brings about a total transcendence of yourself. I agree. If we don't accept ourselves and we're always beating ourselves up, or we don't see the value and the worth inside of us, it's hard to move forward. It's hard to transcend. It's hard to help other people. Why don't we just accept ourselves? Um, why don't we? Well, my personal opinion is there's an adversary that would love to beat us down and have us feel that we're worthless and we're not capable, qualified, pretty enough, smart enough, skilled enough, worthy enough. And if those thoughts dominate, we are powerless. But if we can push that voice out and we recognize our worth, our divinity, our goodness, um, the perfectness inside of, even if we're imperfect and we're all imperfect, yeah. but the goodness inside of us, that powers us forward to get out of our fear, our anxieties, our inhibitions about reaching forward to other people. When you were explaining the adversary, you had your hands up by your head, ego and your mind where the adversary lives. And when you went into the, to finding yourself, you went down around your heart. And that's exactly right. Get out of your head and get into your heart, people. Uh, okay, this is from Lao Tzu. He says, if I, keep, if I keep from imposing on people, they become themselves. Ooh, that's a good one. If I keep from imposing on people, they become themselves. Each of us have a mission and a purpose. And let's just put this into a family context. If we impose our ideas of what our kids are supposed to do or be, we get in their way of their purpose because we could try to steer them into this, this field or this direction when they were divinely created with a skill set that is completely the opposite. And I think we can get in the way of other people and them blossoming into becoming the greatest that they can be when we impose our own ideas. You, you, you could do this or you should do this. Those are dangerous things to say to people sometimes. They are, they are dangerous. Okay, this is from Dr. Wayne Dyer. Even if no one sees or acknowledges it, a silent blessing or thought of love towards others contains a vibration that will be felt throughout the cosmos. Absolutely true. I love him. <laughs> I love him and his, his writings and his teachings. I do believe that love is the greatest force and that it is, um, it is all encompassing. You could have a child or a loved one on the other side of the planet and just be thinking loving thoughts to them. And it's miraculous how they can actually pick up that and feel that there's there is a vibration that's absolutely real. That's that goes from our heart to somebody else's heart. <laughs> awesome. This is from Goth. Whatever you can do or dream you can do, begin it. Boldness has genius, power, and magic in it. Begin it now. Amen. <laughs> <laughs>